Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, it is TGIF, fifth segment of the week. And y'all, I'm finna do something that's gonna take me back to when I was, like they say, in the country, knee high to a grasshopper. It is Good Friday for y'all. This is Good Thursday for me. When you get this video, it'll be Good Friday. This is tradition of Good Friday. I don't know for a lot of people, but in my growing up, Friday we had, Good Friday we had fried catfish and homemade, but as my mama say, homemade french fries. A homemade, uh, Potato, fried potatoes, as my daddy would say. We used to go, we was out of school, of course, on Good Friday. It was so exciting. We get to go fishing for catfish with my dad. That was just like, when I had a cane pole and fishing with a cane pole and grasshoppers, me and my brother and sister would catch the grasshoppers for the week, put them in a jar. That was the fishing bait that we would go and dig grub worms. Y'all know about that. Dig some grub worms for bait and we had them ready for Good Friday because we're going fishing early that morning and we're going to catch some catfish and come home and my mama going, we're going to clean them and she's going to fry them for fish. We're going to have a fish. I'm going to do it just like she did. The other thing I'm going to do mine in the deep fry. She did hers instead of I'm doing mine in the deep fry. We had fish, fried potatoes, and black bread. And we ate syrup with it. Yep, syrup and fish, y'all. I'm telling you. Sometimes she would make some whole cake. Most times it was just light bread, fried potatoes, and catfish and that's what i'm doing today on tgif fish segment of the week for good friday so i'm gonna get things set up i'm gonna put a little milk and egg in my uh a fish here i got some frozen nuggets here i actually bought these nuggets i didn't use my other catfish i bought these being lazy i bought free uh frozen nuggets big bag of them and i got some potatoes here i'm gonna cut them up my mama didn't peel them i'm gonna slice them up cut them in thin strips we're gonna fry them all, probably fry them all first. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get this party started. Y'all got a little fish fry here. I love this one. I love the other one I have, and I like the Zatarans too. It's some more crispier uh, uh, batter. So anyway, y'all, step out there, everything prepped up. We'll be back, get them all in the fry, get it heated up, and we're gonna get this thing going. We'll be back. TGIF Fish Saver of the Week, just getting started. All right, y'all, we are back. All right, y'all, I got my catfish here. See right here. In the oil and oil in the I got a little egg in here and a little milk I'm just gonna kind of let it hang out right here because I'm gonna do my potatoes first My mama would call French fries. My dad would call fried potatoes and I rusted cut them see nothing fancy I just cut them with a knife. I could have cut them thinner. I could like a little thicker French fry You can cut them as thick and as thin as you want. You don't have to I leave the uh, as My daddy would say leave the holes on it. I leave the peelings on them and uh, we're gonna fry them just like that. And I got a gallon fryer here. It holds a gallon. I use peanut oil when I use my fryer because it's you know peanut oil has a higher heat content. I think it, it's just better for frying if you fry in your house. Of course, in your industrial restaurant, you use a fry shortening, you know. But at home, I use a uh, peanut oil. All I'm gonna do, y'all. I'm gonna do my French fries first. And then after that, I'll do my catfish because French fries don't take as long as the catfish. Of course, you know that. I mean, the catfish doesn't take as long as the French fries. We'll get them in the fry here. And we're going to get them all crispy. And when they finish, we're going to, uh, when I finish frying the, when I finish frying the French fries, I'm gonna put them on a rack, put a sheet pan on a rack, let them hang out maybe in the oven, then I'll do my uh then I'll do my catfish. But we do fries first, let them hang out, and then we'll uh come back and do our catfish. So this is how we used to do it. TGIF uh Good Friday growing up. We used to do fit catfish and french fries, y'all, and light bread. That was the best tradition growing up. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. Alright, y'all, we are back here. Okay, our fries are ready. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take them out here and throw them in my sheet pan here with a rack. I'm gonna try to, you know, kind of, not the, you know, kind of put them in the oven, let them kind of stay warm. I'm gonna like put salt and salt them when they come out. Right when they come out of the oil, I put salt on them there. See that? Now I'm gonna get my thing this thing up the. About 375. I'm gonna let my fryer come back up to temperature, y'all. 
And then when we come back, we're gonna start our catfish. I'm gonna do a little at a time because I don't want to overcrowd the fryer and boil it instead of frying it. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back here, y'all. I'm gonna take my fish here and drain it. Drain the milk and eggs off of it. Get it all drained in. And in this bag here, I got my, you know, my fish fry. Got it here in the bag. And y'all know all I'm gonna do is gonna put it in here and shake it around till it get nice and coated. And we're gonna get this fry going, y'all. And usually if I'm doing this, a lot of this, y'all, I do this fry outside on my backyard. In my back patio. I wouldn't fry a lot of fish at my house. I don't like doing that, but I'm doing it for the video purposes. Because, I mean, I just don't like the way it, it makes your whole house smell like, smell like fish. So, yeah, I'm doing a big fish fry. I'll be doing it definitely in my backyard. So, with that being said, let me drop this down in the fryer here. And get this thing going here, y'all. Let's say you don't want to... You don't want to overcrowd your fryer. That's very important. If not, you're going to have nothing but uh, you're going to be boiling your fish instead of frying it. So I'm going to do a little at a time, y'all. A little at a time. Yeah, I might get them all in there. I'm used to frying a whole lot of this, y'all. I got a few more here. I might be able to get it all in there. But I'm used to frying, ooh, maybe 30, 40 fillets in a thing. Not at a time, but when you got the neighbors over the fish fry, that's what you would do. So I'm going to get it all in here without overcrowding my fry. It might work out. Work out, y'all. The fly up a little. I got one more piece here. I think it'll fit right there. So that's it, y'all. I'm going to step off here. I'll let this fry up. It's going to take about 10 15 minutes in the fry here. We'll come back here in a minute and we'll, uh, we got our, like I said, we got our fries already in the oven. We'll come back when I take them out. I'm going to throw them on the same cheat pan with a rack. Let them kind of drain. And I'm going to put them on a the platter. And it's going to be time to eat, y'all. TGIF, fifth segment of the week. Good Friday. Happy Good Friday, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. Look at this, y'all. Look how beautiful this fish is. Look how beautiful that is, y'all. About 10 minutes in there. You know, catfish don't take long. Remember those nice fries we did earlier? Throw it in there on the same pan as the fries. Get this one out of here. Look at that, y'all. That's fish fry right there. See that? Look how pretty that is, y'all. Look at that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the uh, fries. I'm going to salt my fish as soon as it come out the oil. Put some salt and pepper on it. Look at that. That's good eating there. Okay, y'all, I'm going to step off here because this pan is hot. I just took it out of the oven. And step off here, and we'll put this on the platter, and we're going to come back, and we're going to taste us some fried catfish and french fries, all homemade from scratch, y'all. Don't get no better than this on a good Friday, old school soul food style. Anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at this. Check this out. Look at this, y'all. That's good eating. Put that on the plate with your family and friends on good Friday today. And just dig in. Look at that. Nice, golden, crispy fried catfish. Homemade french fries. Don't cost a lot of money. It's so easy to make. So, I'm going to get me some ketchup, y'all. I'm not even going to eat no tartar sauce. We didn't even grow up eating tartar sauce. You know that? Oh, y'all. I mean, we had it. Most of the time, you eat fish with ketchup. That was all the sauce you had with it in the country. I'm telling y'all, I'm being real. You don't always have tartar sauce at the house. So let's try a little of these, uh, this uh, French fry. Mm. It's hot, y'all. Mm, mm, it's hot. Tending the French fry real. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. It's not like homemade fry. Look at y'all. 
Mm, homemade potato. Look at that. Look how tender it is inside. It's still hot because I let it sit in the oven. <clears throat> oh, wow. Right. Leave the, like my daddy say, just leave the hogs on the potato. <clears throat> okay. Now the fish. I know it's good. Oh, yeah. Listen to it. See how crispy that is? Ketchup. Yeah, I, yeah. Ketchup and the catfish. Mmm. A lot of people don't know about eating catfish with ketchup. I'm just keeping it real today, y'all. I'm not being fancy. Like I said, I'm going back to my childhood. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm, no, mm -hmm. Nice flaky catfish. Look at that. Look at that nice. Mm. Tell y'all. I like them little crispy ends, you know. Mm. One more fry, y'all. And you know how the rustic look on the fry? Like I say, they don't have to be perfectly the same size. Somebody call it for catfish. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, y'all. Mm. One day, y'all, I'm going to make somebody YouTube famous. Somebody going to call me while I'm doing a video. I'm gonna put it on speaker and let them talk. They're gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> I ain't gonna delete it. But anyway, y'all, <laughs> let me close this video. I got two people to share this with today. So I hope everybody have an awesome Good Friday, an awesome uh, weekend coming up, Easter weekend, Resurrection Sunday. I got an awesome. Friday night cake of the week coming. It's absolutely my favorite cake to eat for Easter. Very simple cake, but it's my favorite. And I'm gonna make it for TGL. No, not TGL. Friday night cake of the week. The two layer cake, very simple, but it's my favorite. My one of my mom's favorite too. So y'all look for the video coming tomorrow morning for that. So anyway, y'all, let me close the video out. If you like this video. Please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Uh, remember the hashtag 2022, help another with a purpose, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a blessed, good Friday. Love y'all, be safe. Talk to you later, bye.